A family in Belton says they need the community's help after a fire destroyed their entire home on Tuesday night. You can see here what's left of their house. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the flames, but the family is still searching for their dogs that ran away during the fire. KSHB 41 News reporter Ely Shonig spoke with the family who says this holiday season is all about what they have left. The home that fostered almost 30 years of memories is now unrecognizable. The prince, el, el orar es muy bueno. She said uh, prayer is always really great. Jess Valdez translated for her mother-in-law, Olga Barrela, who says this home is a piece of her. Cuando te venían a desayunar todos juntos que yo cocinaba. She said her favorite thing was to cook, um, like during the holidays, and all of her kids would show up, all her girl children would show up and we just have big family meals here. Olga was one of three people who lived here now. Her own mother was the only one inside the home when the fire started. When she saw the fire, she knew that there was no way she was going to be able to put it out. So she just actually started walking out the front door somehow without her walker, without any assistance. The family's dogs, Kyrie and Toby, might have saved Olga's mother's life. Now the family is still looking for them after the fire. Yes, because the dogs went and lay, they usually lay under the bed, but they were just clawing and barking at her mom's door that night, trying to get her attention. As family friends help them clean up, Olga is faced with a bittersweet silver lining. She said it's um, her children's entire life. Mis dos nietas primeras. Her grandchildren and um, just the childhood of, of all of her kids growing up. All the memories that, and struggles that she, she faced. The home might be gone, but the memories still stand. This is the angel that sat untouched from the fire right outside of the family's home, which they're using as a symbol of hope. The Belton Fire Department does say that it appears the fire was traced back to an extension cord that was right next to the artificial Christmas tree that was inside of the family's home. Reporting in Belton, Neely Shonick, KSHB 41 News.